All right, guys, so today we are doing some leather cleaning and conditioning. So I'm usually good for an interior cleaning of my car about once every two months or so, probably not as often as I should, but maybe two, three months if I'm being a little bit lazy about it. And I usually use PNS Interior Cleaner, which is a fantastic sort of all surface cleaner. But the one thing I really have never done is like a really deep leather cleaning and conditioning. And judging by the way this car looked when I got it from the previous owner, I'm pretty sure he didn't either. So that means this car has gone on six and a half some odd years, give or take, without a proper leather treatment. That's kind of a problem. So today we're gonna try to take care of that with this kit. This is the Color Lock Smooth Leather Care Kit. So this comes with a cleaner and a product called Leather Protector, which acts kind of like a conditioner. I also picked up this, this brush from Color Lock, which is really good for like the, the cleaning part of it. So this will help agitate the cleaning into, or the cleaner into the leather a little bit instead of just using a microfiber towel. Something's better than nothing, but the brush is good. Now this company actually makes a bunch of different products for different leather applications, not just car interiors. But if you're interested in them, if you're checking this stuff out, there's two that you wanna pay attention to, and that's this kit and also the new leather care kit. The only difference being is that they both come with a cleaner, uh, the same cleaner, but the new leather kit comes with a product called Leather Shield, which is ideal for cars with leather that is about three years old and newer. And it kind of acts like, um, like a clear coat for leather. It protects against like dye transfer and friction damage and stuff like that. Whereas this kit has the leather protector, which is more for older leather, three years and older and um, that, that kind of works more like a conditioner to try to rejuvenate older leathers. Now this product is designed for pigmented top grain and corrected grain leathers. So pigmented smooth leather is the most commonly used leather in cars as they note on the box, but you wouldn't want to use this on a porous leather like aniline, which is a full grain, or nubuck. And the merino leather in this car is actually a semi-aniline. It's a sheepskin, it's a top grain, so perfectly safe to use this product on it. I imagine Napa as well, but you probably want to double check your leather just to make sure before, you know, putting the stuff on. Okay, so before we get into the cleaning, let's talk about a couple of reasons of why you would want to take the time to condition your leather. Like, what are some of the benefits? So a couple of things. One is moisture retention. So leather is, you know, it's essentially treated animal skin. So just like human skin, it can dry out and crack. And so a good conditioner will sort of reintroduce those regreasing oils, or just bring out the leather's natural oils and keep it moisturized. Another one is a UV inhibitor. So most good conditioners, including this one, has a UV inhibitor uh, to protect against sun fading. Now, granted, this car is mostly garage kept, although it does trade places with Nardo, but in the summertime, it's outside car shows all day and stuff like that. So it definitely gets plenty of sun exposure. And so the UV inhibitor to prevent that leather from fading Definitely, definitely a good thing to have. Next up is keeping the leather soft. So I think this kind of works hand in hand with the keeping the leather moisturized, but you know, older leather can get a little bit brittle, can get a little bit stiff. So keeping the leather conditioned helps keep it soft and keep it plush. Finally is the appearance. And this is kind of what I'm looking forward to uh, for the results of this kit to see how this comes out. So leather should have a very nice subtle sheen to it. It's a little bit more on the dull side. It should have a nice rich look to it. You definitely don't want to have leather that is like greasy and glossy and oily and stuff like that. It's a nice rich sheen to it. In fact, if you saw the engine bay detailing video I did a little while back, same exact thing like with the Meguiar's hyper dressing diluted down, gives all the engine bay components a nice sheen to it and so too should a good conditioner. And speaking of which, actually the, the steering wheel on this car has a little bit of what looks to be like leather breakup. Not entirely sure what's going on there. It's not dirt because when I usually, when I clean it, it looks exactly the same afterwards. So I'm kind of hoping that the conditioner will sort of pull that together, you know, a little bit. Um, if it doesn't, Color Lock does make a product that is specific to repairing steering wheel leather. I probably wouldn't get that if the conditioner doesn't work out because I'm probably gonna upgrade the steering wheel in the not too distant future anyway. But if you're doing this and if you have the same look to your leather steering wheel and the conditioner does not work out, that's your plan B. Now this is gonna be a little bit of a chore today because this car was optioned with the full Merino leather package, which means that every panel that could be leather is leather. So obviously the seats, but also the dashboard, glove compartment, armrest, door panel, Panels, the little knee bolster on the side of the center console. A lot of area to cover here. Okay, so now for the cleaning. So again, I'm using their brush. It's fine if you're using a microfiber towel, but this will agitate a little bit better. Now, unlike the Sonax with the Alcantara, like we did in the other video, check it out if you haven't already because that came out really well. Unlike the Sonax where we could apply it directly to the Alcantara, this stuff we're gonna apply to the brush instead. And I'm just gonna work small sections at a time and then wipe off the excess with a microfiber towel. Barely gonna use any pressure and let the brush do all the work. And again, just do small sections, work my way through the car, a lot of leather to get through, so let's go.
Going to go a little heavier on the side bolsters just because they kind of get more traffic than most other places. This and the steering wheel. So, going to give this a little, little extra attention. This stuff has a very mild scent to it, too. I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's really, it's foreign. <laughs> I don't know. It's a gentle sort of cleaning smell. If that helps, I'm sure that's very descriptive. One seat down, rest of the car still to go. But when it comes to like how it feels, you know, it's a, I mean, it feels clean. It doesn't, doesn't necessarily feel like it's stripped a bunch of oils off and stuff, but I don't know if that, if you would even really be able to measure that because the oil level on these seats already feels a little diminished anyway. But it doesn't feel any worse than it did before, but it definitely has like a nice, kind of smooth, clean feeling. The smell of this stuff really is incredibly mild. Like, unless you get your nose right in the brush, you really can't smell it. But yeah, it smells like a very clean hotel room if it were somewhere else in the world. That's, that's all I got. But it doesn't leave any kind of leftover fragrance or not odor, but you know what I mean? Any kind of like leftover smell in the car. So yeah, super, super mild. Also, I don't know if I forget if I mentioned this before, um, but again, this is the mild cleaner. Leather has a pH of five, and so this is balanced to that with a pH of five. But if you have very dirty leather, say you have a barn fine car and the leather has not been touched in like 30 years and you really need to scrub it up really good, um, they do make a stronger version of this cleaner. I don't know what the pH is. It's probably like six, six and a half or something, but worth noting that you can get a stronger cleaner, but for your everyday daily driver, probably can get away with mild. This is a good kind of a match for this car. Yeah. This is the microfiber towel that I'm using to clean off the excess. And it, it, would, it looks like it's picking up quite a bit of dirt. So that's, that's pretty encouraging in, in terms of the effectiveness of the cleaner. So worth noting. Well, the car is finally done. Took a little longer than I anticipated, but all told, it was probably somewhere around an hour and a half or so. Now, at this point, I could just go ahead and do the protector phase once the leather is dry to the touch, but because it is a little bit later and because the manufacturer actually does recommend, let it sit overnight, let the cleaner just kinda, I don't know, do its cleaning stuff. And then uh, if you can swing it, come back the next day and do the protector phase. So that is what we are gonna do here. I'm gonna let it sit overnight, come back tomorrow, do the protector, see how this all turns out. All right, guys, well, it is the next day. The car is all clean and dry. Got the foam block here that the kit came with. Got our leather protector. So this is kind of like a cream. Uh, so we're gonna put a little bit of this on the foam, scrunch it up a little bit so that it, I guess, foams up or froths a little, and then do multiple thin layers uh, on all of the leather surfaces. So instead of layering it on thick, manufacturer recommends to do very thin layers um, so that way you avoid streaking as the product dries. You can go back and wipe it down with a microfiber cloth if you have to, but again, ideally, you just do multiple thin passes, flip over to the dry side of the foam block, level it out, and then as it evaporates, it should be good. So I'm gonna start where I did yesterday on the driver's side and then work my way through the rest of the car. And I gotta say, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see how this comes out now. Like initially it was one of these like, I've had this kit for a little while and uh, it's kind of something I've just been meaning to do just to kind of get it done. Um, but yeah, now that, now that we're at the step, I'm, I'm sort of excited. Like, kind of happy with how the cleaning agent came out of this. I, leather feels, you know, very nice and clean and clearly there was a lot of sort of ingrained dirt that came out that we could see in the cloth. Um, yeah, but now that we're at this stage, I'm excited to see the results. All right, so here's a couple of areas that I'm really hoping the conditioner kind of works out. And one of them, like I mentioned before, the steering wheel, so you can kind of see how it's definitely faded here. The uh, leather looks a little bit cracked right here, like right here. So I don't think that the conditioner is gonna totally fix this, but maybe it'll sort of dull it a little bit or you know smooth that area out. And then we got this right here. So clearly where my elbow kind of rests, you can see like a little bit of cracking going on here. It's definitely sort of like the most obvious spot. Again, hopefully this conditioner will sort of get in here and maybe help repair or heal this up a little bit. That would be ideal. Here, I think this is not repairable. This is just, I don't even know what caused this. This was like that when I got it. I think you can replace this, but yeah, this here is just like chipped away leather, I think. So that would be miraculous, but I'm not, not too hopeful. <laughs>
so the base of the seat on the first seat is done. So initial impressions. Um, one, this stuff does go on very thick. So I can see why they say do very thin layers because it, again, it's a cream. So it's a, it's a lot thicker and it's tougher to spread out if you put too much on. So uh, worth noting too, again, just a little bit goes a long way. Uh, another thing is that good thing this foam block is soft and squishy because as you're going back and forth, you can very much tell um, where you didn't get. And so fortunately with this foam block, it makes it getting into the grooves in between the leather, the crevices here, makes it very easy to do. And then, so again, it's it's much easier to tell when you're doing these, which which area you didn't get yet, because you can very see, like very clearly see a color difference. I don't know if it comes out as well on video here, but um, so that is helpful. So I don't know if, again, if it comes through, but you can clearly see it brings out that very nice, subtle sort of richness in the leather. Sorry, it's hard to do this with one hand holding the camera for an up close shot, but hopefully you're getting the idea here. All right, so that is just the center and you can kind of see, you can definitely see the done part versus the not done part. So that is a very nice color that has come out on this. Pretty happy with how that's looking. So we'll see if that deepens a little bit more as it dries, but so far that is an improvement. All right, guys, so the leather is officially clean and protected. So I'm actually gonna let this sit overnight so the product can work its way into the leather, which is recommended by the manufacturer. Um, but my initial impressions are that uh, mainly the appearance. So it definitely did give the leather sort of that rich sheen that I was hoping for. I'm sure that'll dull out a little bit as it settles in. In fact, it was interesting. I, I feel like it was much more apparent in the back seat than the front, probably because the back seat leather is much you know less worn than in the front seat. So I feel like the product absorbs a lot quicker in the front than in the back. So we will come back tomorrow, see how this all you know settles in. I don't think it's really gonna do much in terms of repairing any of the damage. I didn't really think so. I think that's gonna need like actual real repair, but we'll see how it handles like the cracking in the and the armrest and uh, some of the other areas that definitely got beat down a little bit more. And uh, we'll check in tomorrow. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how this turned out. <sighs> oh man. Yeah, this is nice. You can definitely tell that this leather has been treated, conditioned as it were. So, especially like on the side bolsters and stuff, man. So it does not look at all greasy or slick or anything. It definitely has that, uh, that kind of slight, just improved richness to it. It is notably softer. Wow. Yeah, this was, I, I kind of feel like I always say this, but it was worth doing. The, the leather in this car is officially treated and it looks great. Back seat. Ooh. Very pleased with how this came out. So, all right, let's talk about it a little bit more. Seriously, you can feel that all day. That's awesome. Okay, so in wrapping up, very happy with how everything came out. So it was a bit of a chore to, you know, go through and clean and condition all of the leather, but as I seem to always say, it was certainly worth doing. So the softness of the leather, 100% there, and uh, I assume by extension, by proxy, moisturize, UV protected, good to go. I did notice that I seem to use almost all of the cleaner uh, going through and, and doing the whole car, but only a fraction of the conditioner, which I, I think is funny because you get 125 milliliters of the cleaner and 150 milliliters of the conditioner, the leather protector. So one liter bottle would be recommended if you're looking to do multiple cars. The other thing is that the manufacturer recommends that if you, anytime you do a leather cleaning, you have to then follow it up with the protector. So anytime you clean the leather, it is recommended that you do the protector and they generally recommend that you do a treatment every three to six months, depending on how often, you know, your car gets used. Doing all that every three to six months is probably for me every three months because it is my daily. Um, yeah, that's that's gonna be a that's gonna be a lot, but uh, you know, I guess it's it's probably worth doing to keep that leather protected and, and long lasting. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe this helped you make a decision if you're currently evaluating different products to use for a leather treatment in your car. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.